Hey, this is Greg Eisor. Um, I just want to kind of show what this Harp Mojo pedal does. Um, it's got a couple basic knobs, fatness on the left and bite on the right. When they're straight up and down, they don't um, affect the tone. So when they're straight up and down, it's at zero and you can add or cut those frequencies um, by turning the knob. Uh, when it's off, when the pedal's off, it's pretty transparent. I mean, it doesn't change the tone at all when you're just going through it. And when you cut it on, uh, and the knobs are straight up and down, it does add a little beef, but it doesn't change the tone very much. So, um, this basement that I'm playing through, um, isn't one of the best sounding basements. <laughs> so, this, this pedal is kind, of, is kind of a good one to demonstrate the pedal with because uh, the, you'll see how it kind of affects the tone. If you cut the fatness down, it really kind of reduces those, those low mid frequencies. And as you, as you kind of turn it up, it adds a lot of body. <laughs> Gives it quite a bit of, of uh, push without actually changing the volume. It just kind of fills out the tone quite a bit. For me, the most useful part is this bite knob. So um, a lot of times, because my tone tends to be dark, I end up pushing the mids and pushing the presence. Um, and you know, that's kind of where you can encounter some feedback. With this bite control, you know, you can roll it down. And that takes the edge off. Oh, it sounds like my harp's sticking a little bit. And that kind of takes the edge off. And uh, if we put it back at zero, and then start dialing it up, it really kind of gives a clarity to the, to the tone that I like a lot. To kind of give you some cut, to cut through the mix. Uh, if you put those together, you can get some really pretty cool sounds without uh, actually uh, changing your volume. Um, you know, for me, this is one of those pedals that's going to be really useful you know, when you're traveling and you get, you get handed different amplifiers <laughs> of varying states of quality or, or, or um, kind of performance. So uh, I think it's really useful as far as being able to control the, the beef of the tone and, and also the cut of the tone. All right, hopefully that's pretty helpful. Oh, uh, and that was just playing through a, a, a JT30, you know, with a crystal element in it. All right.